Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Fresh Park Rail. First off, I got this rail 8 months ago, it was a birthday gift because I'm really spoiled. So I had no idea that this shape even existed in skateboarding rails. At that time I only knew about square and round, and I heard bad things about square rails so I was pretty convinced on learning how to skate a round rail, so I didn't really know what to think about this rail. When I first got this rail I couldn't do any rail tricks at all. But I've definitely tried to skate rails before without any luck though. Somehow 50-50s came really easy to be honest. I bust my ass a couple of times but I learned them quickly. It's definitely really fun to learn tricks on this rail. And by the way, I really recommend that if you have a portable rail, you learn how to do tricks landing in a soft ground or in grass. Believe me, it's way better to fall on grass than falling on cement. So what is this? This is not round, but it's not square either. What the hell? According to this image that I found on Google, this rail is a racetrack shape. Straight on the top, you get rounded on the sides. So right off the bat, I have to say that I really like this shape. It gave me the confidence to learn tricks on it. It's really easy to learn how to 50-50 on this rail, and board sides are really easy to balance as well because of the long top. So if you want to learn how to board side and you just want to get a feel for the trick, you can literally board stuff for as long as you need to. But at the same time, you won't stick or get a bad chinner because this rail has no edges. And talking about chinners, if you want to feel safer with this rail, you can put on the little caps that come with it on each end of the rail. But at this point, I don't use them anymore. They're gonna fall off the rail if I skate with them because they, they get caught and they just fall off. So I'm not really putting them back on ever again. And of course, the locking or pinch on this rail is, is gonna be a little bit different than in other rails. But of course, it is possible to do every grind and every side on this rail. You just have to get used to it. You might like or dislike this rail more than me. At the end, it's all about preference. The lowest setting on this rail is... And the highest setting is... I personally started skating it at its lowest setting, but now I'm skating it as high as the low extensions allow me to. Let me explain. So this rail comes with four legs, two small and two medium. If you want the rail to be higher than that, you're gonna have to use the medium extensions. I'm currently skating the small extensions at its highest setting. Side note, if you wanna learn how to skate a down rail, you can easily put this down a curb and you can just skate it as a down rail. You can make it higher, you can make it steeper. It's super easy and fun. So if you want to learn how to skate down rails but without dying, I truly recommend getting one of these or borrowing one. This rail is easy to carry around. If you have spaghetti arms like me, you can simply unscrew the parts of the rail and carry it in part. It fits easily in the cars my parents have. I don't know how heavy it is, but I can easily carry it as you can see in the video. Hola pues, soy Alex, me parece un reel muy bueno, ya que ha aguantado los trancazos en sí, es un reel resistente y me parece muy buena calidad y me gustaría que hicieran más reels de estos, uh, pero también que estén en forma a base económica más, más accesibles. I love this reel, it's really fun to skate, I, I totally got used to the shape of it. I would say though that this reel is mostly for beginners because if you know how to skate rails already, you might have a hard time really learning your tricks, I guess, because of the weird locking and pinch. I'm not saying you can't though. It is possible to grind this rail just like any other rail. You just have to get used to it. So that's all I have to say. I'm really thankful for having this rail. It's really fun to skate it. And thank you for watching the video if you're still here. Now let's get into some skateboarding. <laughs>
feel like I do 